Okay, for this series of exercises, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over lunges, okay? Lunges are a great exercise, and when done properly, we can really open up the hips, we can really open up the thoracic spine, we can get the core to, to realign itself with how it should be positioned over the pelvis and how it should be positioned over the, the base of support. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on a bunch of different ones, um, but looking to create a, a training effect um, in each different movement, okay? The first one is the one most people are familiar with, okay? It's a forward lunge. What Janelle's gonna do, she's just gonna place both hands on her hips. She's gonna step forward into a lunge position, okay? Sink both hips and then push straight back, okay? If you notice when she steps forward, go ahead, she's sinking her hips, meaning when she steps forward, her knee isn't driving forward, okay? So she could probably stride just a little bit longer. That will allow her to sit a little bit better, okay? And one more, great job, okay? and then we'll switch to the other side. Okay. Pushing right through that left heel to return to the starting position, not off that toe. Okay, three, four, and one more. And that's a great job, okay? That's a forward lunge, most people are familiar with that. Now we're gonna do one that requires a little bit more stability, a little bit more balance, a little bit more coordination, okay? This is the lateral lunge. The lateral lunge is a great exercise because it really opens up the hips. And for people that only do one plane of exercise, meaning running, biking, this really opens up the hips and gets them to do a movement that their hips are unfamiliar with, okay? So what she's gonna do is she's gonna take a step out to the side, okay? And with that step, she's gonna really use that, that foot that's stationary and drive her, her other hip away from it, okay? She's gonna step into the lateral lunge and then come back up, okay? For the second rep, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that the, the, the leg that's staying stationary stays straight, okay? Again. Good, okay, we're gonna do five again. Good, two more. And one more. Okay, and then we'll go right to the other side. Okay, again, looking at this foot, staying in contact with the ground. Okay, this leg staying straight. Okay, pushing off this right heel as she comes back to the re resting position. And one more, and then again, that knee staying right over that ankle. Okay, so the biggest parts of this that we're noticing, okay, wherever that toe goes is where that knee goes. So for a lot of people that might do this, they might find that they might do it with an open toe, that's gonna lead that knee to go out. So what Janelle did that was really good was when she did step out to the side, she kept that knee and that ankle aligned and that toe was straight ahead. That really helped her. Next exercise, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go into a reverse lunge. Okay, the reverse lunge is simple, um, but it's a really great exercise to teach people how to push off that front foot. Okay, it's great for runners, it's good for power athletes, and you can really load up this lunge exercise. Okay, so for the reverse lunge, what Janelle's gonna do, she's gonna basically just step back, okay, using her right foot, and then push off that left heel to drive back to the starting position. Okay, so pushing off that left heel, good. Okay, you notice that knee doesn't really go past that toe, okay, you'll also notice she's lowering her torso slightly over that knee. Okay, so we got this, this nice athletic position right at the bottom, and we'll do one more and good, okay? So it's a, it's a great movement, go ahead, we'll do five more. Other side, good. It's a great movement to load, you can put a barbell on your back, dumbbells in your hands, kettlebells. And it's also a great assessment, you can look right to left, make sure that both, both sides are balanced and symmetrical. Great job, and that's the reverse lunge, okay? Next exercise that we're gonna go over is the cross under lunge, okay? The cross under lunge is a fantastic one for marathon runners, runners, triathletes, uh, cyclists, anybody that's looking to maintain a training effect while also targeting the glutes, targeting the IT band, targeting the quads, and really getting, getting runners and, and individuals to open up the hips, okay? So what she's gonna do is she's gonna start in a square position, okay? From that position, she's almost gonna do uh, basically a cross under lunge or a curtsy lunge, okay? So she's gonna reach underneath, okay? And that's a good start, but we're gonna look for a little bit more range of motion. She's gonna look a little further back, okay? I'm gonna help give her a target, okay? She's gonna reach right here, good. Let's do two more, reach a little bit further back. There we go, good. She's gonna do one more. We're gonna watch and make sure that knee doesn't really wobble outside that ankle, okay? So we're gonna watch her on the other side, and that's what we're gonna look for. We're gonna watch and make sure this knee stays right over the ankle as she does this curtsy lunge. Good, this side's much better. She's much more stable on this ankle. Right, you're seeing that knee stay right over and really getting that drive right from that right heel as she returns to the resting position, okay? One more, good. I will note one thing, on this cross under lunge, we're gonna wanna 
park both cars nice and tight in the garage. What I mean by that, see how our feet are separate right now? What we're going to do is when she does this again, she's going to bring both feet in nice and tight to each other. Okay, so she's going to do two more reps. Just go right down and then right back up. Bring them nice and tight. That allows the quads, hamstrings, and groin to kind of squeeze as she returns to that position. Good job, Danelle. The next exercise, what we're going to do is a crossover lunge. Okay? With the crossover lunge, what we're going to see is we're going to really see some differences and imbalances that we might not see with the cross under lunge. Okay? Really opens up the hips, and one done properly can be a great warm up tool. Okay? Let's step with the left foot over the right, and what you're going to do is you're going to step diagonally about a 45 degree angle in front of the other leg. Okay? Again, both hips are going to sink, and you're going to see both knees pretty much go straight down. Okay? So right there, good. Okay? A little bit further forward, good. And again, driving back to that resting position through that left heel. Three, two more, four, and five. And we'll switch sides. Okay, she's got a lot more range of motion in this hip. She can really go a lot more towards that 45 degree angle. Okay, she's pushing off that right heel, going back to the resting position. And one more, I want you to notice one thing. See how this toe, back up, stayed right there, okay? <laughs> um, I really want you to notice one thing about the, cross, the crossover lunge, okay? When Janelle's stepping forward, okay, what we're looking for is for that back toe to stay in contact with the ground. A lot of people will come up or they'll lose that balance with that left foot, okay? So we really want to keep that foot that's staying put in contact, that whole toe needs to be in contact, pointing straight ahead. Um, and not out to the side, okay? The last exercise is a trans, uh, transverse lunge. One of the great things about the transverse lunge is it really opens up the hips in a way that most of these other lunges don't, okay? So what we're gonna do is it's almost a step back lunge but with an open toe, okay? So Janelle's gonna take a step back as she would with the reverse lunge but instead she's gonna actually take a step back and with that foot she's gonna open up that toe, okay? So as she takes a step back, almost looks like an L, okay? So that's what I tell most of my clients when they're sitting back is that you're sitting back into an L lunge. Good. And then again, look at those hips open. Okay. Let's do two more. What I wanted to do this time, let's go ahead and raise that left toe. We're going to get a little more length right through this heel and right through that calf complex. And one more. Good. Okay. So with this exercise, the transverse lunge is a great, great tool. Open up the hips, get, get people used to, you know, a different movement. Um, it's not really comfortable, it's not traditional, um, and it gets people moving in a way that they're not used to. So we're going to watch the other side as Janelle goes through this L-sit, okay? Good. She's pushing right back to the starting position. Notice how her torso is taking that full 90 degree turn. Really opening up those hips, pushing back off that left heel, and again, that left knee is not really drifting too far forward or, or any, that, that far at all, really. You're seeing that left knee kind of drift a little bit forward, but it stops as soon as it gets close to the toe. And then that left knee is really staying over that ankle from side to side. 